Zohal Anwari has been staying inside, avoiding the Pakistani police, while she waits for her sponsorship case to be heard in Canada. Anwari was a human rights defender in Afghanistan. After the Taliban took power, she escaped to Pakistan with her family due to the fear of being detained by the Taliban. But now that fear is back. Police of Pakistan arrest my husband. It's so difficult to us uh, to realize, release my husband. Uh, we give to them um, money. Zohal is the mother of four girls and has a one-year visa. Their stay needs to be extended every two months. At the Torham border crossing, 250 kilometers away. Pakistani police have started to search and arrest Afghan refugees whose visa have expired. Life in Pakistan is so difficult. It's not just adults, even children have been arrested. <laughs> Arzu, a 17-year-old Afghan refugee, was ecstatic after winning a jujitsu match but had no idea she would soon be detained. Arzo and her coach were detained by the Pakistani police because their visa had run out. New refugees who came in the last two years do not receive cards from UNHCR. Instead, they receive UNHCR celebs which are not acceptable to the Pakistan police. She says the police were acting like they do not know the unit CR and told her you should get a visa. On the new arrival, Pakistan um, is not supportive of uh, you know granting them refugee status. We are trying our level best. We are doing advocacy with them. More than one million Afghan refugees are in Pakistan. 600,000 are new arrivals who are waiting for their cases. They say they are fed up with the refugee detention and police asking for bribes. They claim the only way that they can get the Pakistani visa is through the black market. We sent several emails to the Pakistan government but have not heard back. The Canadian government has pledged to bring at least 40,000 Afghan nationals to Canada by the end of 2023. So far, more than 33,400 Afghan refugees now call Canada home. Zohal is hoping her family will be next. I request from the uh, Canada government to process um, my case. I have small children. Shugufa Global News, Ottawa.